So you're actually preparing yourself for your future at all times. And you're either preparing yourself for your future based on your past, or you're preparing yourself for your future based on what you're wanting. Something that I see a lot with uh, people who've experienced trauma in their childhood is that as adults, they often engage in risky behavior. That is because as human beings, we demand that the world show up in line with how we feel. If we are feeling scared and we're in a safe place, that's actually more uncomfortable than being scared and being in a dangerous place. We demand that the world show up the way we feel the world is. It's part of our amazing powers as creator beings is that we can identify opportunities and we see the world around us through the lens of what we believe is true. So if you change what you believe is true, it changes what you're cued into. It changes the way you see opportunities. It changes how you relate to the people around you, whether you're interpreting their words as affirming and helpful and supportive, or you're interpreting them as an attack. So the next exercise that we're going to do is going to be training you to feel the way you want to feel. I think most of us are under the impression that we don't have a lot of say in how we feel. If we have a good day, we feel good. If we have a bad day, we feel bad. It's our circumstances that kind of give us our internal experience. So this next component is teaching you how to access your own ability to choose how you feel and develop it and practice it. Sound good? How do you want to feel? Good, great. What else? Get specific. Abundant. Got it. What else? Satisfied. Ooh, I love that. Yes. Free. Ah, oh, that's a good one. Good one. Peace. Peace joy. Totally. Wonderful. Totally. I love it. OK, so we're going to practice. You guys ready to practice? Cool. We're going to close our eyes again for this one. Now, I want you to choose a memory of your life, a scene from your own life, where you felt exactly how you want to feel. And we're going to get even more specific and say how you want to feel in the area of your life that you've been working with today. See that scene in your mind's eye. Once you have it, turn the volume up on the color. Make it vibrant and bright. Make the image close to you and big. And let yourself be flooded by the feeling of that memory. <laughs> 